What's up guys and welcome back to another video of Just Floss It. Today we're going to be talking about sensitivity. Who in here has sensitive teeth? Because I know I do. I've whitened my teeth in the past which has caused me to get sensitive teeth. And if you've ever gone through whitening, you know what I feel. Or some people just have sensitive teeth. It hurts to speak, it hurts with cold, it hurts with hot. You think you have cavities, but your teeth look really healthy. They just hurt all the time. Well, that is called sensitive teeth. Now, the proper term is hypersensitivity of the dentin, hyperdentinal sensitivity, but when you go to the dentist, basically we tell you you have sensitive teeth. Now, how do you get sensitive teeth? One of the ways that you can get sensitive teeth is through recession. Now, if you don't know what recession is, it means the gum has pulled back just a little bit, exposing the bottom half of the layer of your tooth called the dentin. And those little tubules are more open than our enamel, so that's where sen air and water that is cold and hot can start to cause pain when we're either drinking, eating, or talking. So how do we cure sensitivity? Well, sensitivity is cured by either fluoride treatment, and if you guys don't know what fluoride is, I'll link down below my previous video on talking about what fluoride is. So fluoride treatment will help with some people who have sensitivity. Whenever I whiten my teeth and my teeth start to hurt a lot, I put fluoride on my teeth to help close off those tubules so that my teeth stop hurting. Now, if you have recession, you can't just be putting fluoride on your teeth every single day. So if you have exposed root surfaces, in those cases, maybe you would need a filling on your teeth to top off that area that is exposed so that it no longer hurts. Now, during your cleanings, you can ask your hygienist if it's possible, it is not always possible in every situation, to warm up the water during the cleanings. I have a lot of patients who have sensitive teeth and thankfully, the instrument that I use is separate bottles so I can physically go warm up the bottles for my patients so that their teeth don't hurt during a cleaning. How else can you get sensitivity? Well, sometimes we get sensitivity like I do from whitening your teeth because you're exposing your teeth to so many acidic things that is causing your teeth to start to feel a little frail and they become sensitive because of the chemicals that you're putting on your teeth. Now, another reason or another way people can get sensitive teeth is that they are exposing themselves to a lot of acidic foods like limes or sodas that slowly wear at the teeth, causing the enamel to break down in turn exposing our inner layer of our teeth called our dentin. Another way that we could get sensitive teeth is if we are very aggressive brushers and we are brushing at our gum line very aggressively as well as clenching our teeth causing chips in our teeth in turn causing the exposure of the bottom half of our tooth or the inner layer caused the dentin. So these are ways that we can get sensitivity but it, it, it can be fixed with with fluoride treatments or fillings. In some cases, some people will need veneers to protect that whole layer again because they just don't have any more enamel on their teeth. Now, if you're in the early phase of sensitivity, then you can purchase some Sensodyne or some sensitive toothpaste at home, or you can even ask your dentist to prescribe you a sensitive toothpaste that will help put vitamins on your teeth to protect your teeth from that sensitivity. Now, in those cases, all you have to do when you're using the, that toothpaste is you would allow the toothpaste to sit on your teeth, though your teeth will absorb the vitamins that those toothpastes have to protect your teeth. Then the sensitivity you'll see will start to go away entirely. Now, that is all I have for today on what is sensitivity, who gets it, and how to treat it. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.